For more information about how you can obtain the latest international ag news, go online to agrisensus.com. Well, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell became an unexpected leader in the 2018 Farm Bill discussions, mainly as an advocate for industrial hemp, a crop pilot, piloted, that is, in Kentucky. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock joins us with another industry supporter from the Bluegrass State. The 2018 Farm Bill was in a lot of ways more evolutionary than revolutionary, but in one area it made some waves. We're likely to be joined here by Kentucky, uh, Kentucky Commissioner of Agriculture Ryan Corals. Ryan, talk to us a little bit about the hemp provisions in the Farm Bill and, and what did that mean for your state in Kentucky? We were so fortunate that Leader McConnell worked with the Kentucky hemp industry to include language that finally legalizes a crop that once thrived in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. We are working with USDA right now to make sure that that hemp has a chance in America. And in my state, we have over a thousand farmers growing this crop in 2019 and as many as 40,000 acres. And the best part about it is that we are producing hemp products that Americans are buying legally. And that is the best success story of them all, especially during a time of low commodity prices. And of course, one of the big wins was not only getting that legalized, but also qualifying for crop insurance. But we're still seeing the Farm Bill getting rolled out. Are you in conversations with USDA about the timeline on, on when farmers will be allowed to to sign up for those programs? Absolutely. We don't anticipate a crop insurance product uh, in anytime soon. It's going to take some time for us to get production data, history, etc. But what we're focused on right now is trying to make sure that all the states try to provide some sort of uniform, uniformity in their laws, testing protocols, and making sure that industries know what hemp is and more importantly what hemp is not. Obviously, folks across the country are struggling to find markets for their goods. Could you talk a little bit about um, maybe how Kentucky farmers are being affected by the loss of global markets? Sure. So Kentucky is a top 15 grain state. A lot of folks don't realize that. Top 15 in corn, wheat, and soybeans. And so we are adversely affected by some of the retaliatory tariffs. However, we're encouraged to see uh, some progress in negotiations with China right now, which helps lift everyone who's, uh, who has beans in the bin right now. And also as farmers look forward to 2019 production decisions. But one thing that some of our grain farmers are doing is aligning themselves with the bourbon industry in Kentucky. Kentucky uh, makes 95% of the world's bourbon, but 100% of the bourbon worth drinking. And they uh, bought over 9 million bushels of Kentucky grown corn last year. And we're very proud of that because a lot of our corn growers get a premium per bushel uh, due to specialty corn or corn that's going into bourbon. Well, some exciting things to look forward to coming out of Kentucky in the next couple of weeks and months and, of course, years to come. Thanks again to Commissioner Ryan Quarles for joining us today. We'll have more updates and more reporting from here at NASDA's Winter Policy Conference throughout the week. But until then, back to you. Well, thanks again, Sarah. Now, of course, the Kentucky Derby will be held at Churchill Downs. That's going to be Saturday, May 2nd this year. It's marking the event's 145th year in the Bluegrass State.